my name is William Stone. Um, I'm a pretty chill guy most of the time. Only thing that annoys me is when you go around someone's house and they make you take your shoes off at the front door. <laughs> and you go in, they don't even have a bouncy castle. <laughs> Good evening, 21 Soho. Uh, it's uh, lovely to be here. I'll start off with some fun facts about me. Um, I'm a pretty light sleeper. So it annoys me when someone wakes you up to say something really annoying like, you failed your driving test. <laughs> I know I look like a bit of a hard man. But I'm actually quite sensitive. Yeah. Just this morning, I found myself choking up, watching one of those videos, you must have seen them, one of those videos of a baby for the very first time hearing my stand-up comedy. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not normally one to brag, but I've got this friend, right? What else can I tell you? <laughs> I don't have any pets. That I know of. <laughs> Did have a cat when I was little, though. I'll never forget her. We called her Boots, because she had the most adorable little chain of chemists. I was thinking on the way over here, actually, about how amazing it must be to be a bird. Just think about it. You get to fly, eat croissants off the floor. <laughs> Tell you the truth, not even that bothered about the flying. <laughs> My obsession with animals started at quite an early age. I used to watch Disney films all the time when I was little. And ever since then, I always wanted to go to Disneyland and meet Mickey Mouse. A couple of summers back, finally got to go. It was dressed down Friday. <laughs> Lovely guy, though. <laughs> I saved up to go to Disneyland when I was working as a security guard at a scented candle factory. One night, there was a massive fire. And I was too relaxed to do anything about it. <laughs> it's really great to be back doing live comedy again. Uh, got the train in this evening. Now, I'm not saying I'm a total legend. However, uh, I did give up my seat for someone on the train. Even being honest, I wasn't really sure how to drive it. I got the train in from Brighton, where I live. Uh, Brighton's a very, very fashionable place, as you can tell. <laughs> Everyone in Brighton's into ethical shopping at the moment. Wherever you go, you'll see organic this and fair trade that. But don't get me wrong, I do think that's good. It's definitely gone a bit far when even your dentist going on about local anaesthetic. I do love Brighton, I really do. It has made me very diet conscious though. I'm feeling really bloated recently. And I'm starting to think I might have an intolerance to KFC family buckets. <laughs> I was eating a lot of microwave meals during lockdown and I noticed that they always say on the box, pierced lid in several places. Who's got time for that? <laughs> I just do it in the kitchen. I don't think I'll ever make enough salads to justify having a dressing room. <laughs> uh, 
I've never been very good at cooking, I'll be honest. I always get something wrong. It's like my mum always says to me, William, you can't make an omelette. <laughs> um, listen, you guys have been really lovely. Before I go, uh, I'd just like to do the other half of my set. Do you guys like impressions? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> when I was a kid, my favorite TV show was The Golden Girls. Right, lads? Yeah. I think it had a big impact on my taste in women. Because ever since then, every woman I've been out with has been totally fictional. <laughs> I've been single for quite a while now. Uh, last girlfriend I had, though, she was a total fox. I say that because she had this beautiful short red hair. <laughs> and sometimes she used to wake me up in the middle of the night. Having loud sex in the back garden. <laughs> I had a pretty normal childhood. Two parents, both unplanned. <laughs> Quite hard to describe my parents, actually. I uh, guess you could say they were like chalk and cheese. White. <laughs> Me and my mum were really close when I was growing up. Every year for my birthday, she would lay on a buffet, which made it really hard to eat. My mum used to grow bonsai trees. They were a pride and joy, man. And one night, her favourite bonsai tree got nicked out of our front porch. And I felt so guilty because I left the door open. So the next morning, I got up really early. And I went all around town, putting missing tree posters on all the cats. My dad was a funeral director. Uh, nothing you'd have seen. <laughs> My parents live in the countryside now. People think everyone in the countryside is really friendly. It's not true. There's a lot of passive aggression in the countryside. There's a farm in my parents' village. And at the end of their driveway, they've got this massive sign that says, Pick your own strawberries! <laughs> All right, mate. <laughs> Any of you guys have a nickname when you're at school? Just me. <laughs> yeah. My nickname, thanks for asking. Uh, my nickname at school was Winnie the Pooh. Uh, I had that nickname for five years, all because one lunchtime I ate a whole pot of honey. with no pants on. <laughs> My favourite band when I was a teenager was Korn. You know those guys with the backwards R in the name? Yeah, some Korn fans in. Nice, nice. Yeah, I've been a fan of those guys for years and I literally only just found out today why they have the backwards R. Did you know? It's because they're cool. <laughs> I remember when I first started high school, I really wanted all the Ab Fab stationery. My dad wouldn't let me. He said, if you go into school, he was shorter than me. <laughs> if you go into school with absolutely fabulous on a big pink pencil case, you're gonna get bullied. Jokes on him. I got bullied anyway. <laughs> I get knocked down. 
And then I cry a bit. A friend of mine. Uh, my friend Dave at school, he um, started experimenting with drugs. And he once got so high, he thought he could cut off his own hands. Yeah. Well, the first one was easy. We all have that one friend, don't we, that's a total buzzkill. Doesn't want to get a kebab on the way home. It's like, mate, why did you even come to the christening? <laughs> well, I hope you found this useful. Um, you guys have been fantastic. I've been William Stone. Cheers. Cheers.